and welcome to the program. This is Vivica Williams and you're watching Head to Head. Human trafficking from involuntary labor to sex slavery. Through force, fraud, and coercion, people everywhere are being bought and sold against their will. It's the fastest growing criminal industry in the world. So where does Ukraine stand? To talk with us today about this issue is Yulia Sachinko, the director of the international anti-slavery organization A21. Yulia, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for the invitation. So let's talk about uh, first, what about what's the organization A21? A21 is an international um, counter-trafficking organization that uh, is presented in 12 offices in 11 countries around the world. And um, uh, Ukraine um, is represented as well. Um, we have an office in Kyiv, um, but the work of our organization is covering the entire um, territory of Ukraine. And the main focuses of our work is prevention awareness, um, helping victims of trafficking, uh, and uh, um, uh, prosecution as well. Uh, and we have three main directions of our work, which is reach, rescue, and restore. Uh -huh. So, and tell us then, what are the statistics for Ukraine? How mm -hmm. serious is this issue with human trafficking? Um, yes, unfortunately, there is no uh, strict statistics right. about trafficking because the the nature of this mm -hmm. crime is very uh, hidden. Uh, but different um, um, international um, global organizations are telling and sharing different statistics um, about the trafficking uh, globally, uh, which is from uh, starting with 27 million mm -hmm. uh, people in slavery right now uh, up to 40, 40, um, 40 million. Uh, so, but um, in Ukraine, Ukraine is unfortunately in the middle of this because uh, Ukraine right now is the country of destination for oh. trafficking. Destination? Yes. Wow. So um, uh, foreigners can be trafficked to Ukraine as well. Uh, it's the country of source, source country mm -hmm. uh, when the Ukrainian citizens are uh, being brought somewhere abroad to other countries uh, for exploitation and also the transit country yes, uh, because yes. we are in the middle of Europe and um, and of course the, the borders are open now and also there is a, a domestic slavery in Ukraine as well so mm. this tells us that Ukrainian citizen can be trapped into slavery within the country so what what are some of the uh, most common forms of human trafficking because people are very familiar with um, I'll say sex slavery or for sex trafficking, but there are a lot of different types of slavery. So what are some of the most common ones we see that Ukrainians suffer from? You did mention servitude. Yes, exactly. So, for example, if before uh, we thought that human trafficking or modern day slavery uh, equals sex slavery right. uh, and um, uh, only girls and young women were suffering, uh, but now uh, the nature of trafficking changes and um, um, basically we can say that in Ukraine um, more than uh, five, more than 50 percent of um, victims of trafficking are men and, oh. and young male. Does uh, this have to do a lot with forced labor exactly. kind of working situations? Exactly, mm -hmm. yes. This, um, this is related to the uh, labor exploitation mm -hmm. uh, in Ukraine and abroad. And there are some trends in mm -hmm. Ukraine. Um, of course, we can say that uh, the military um, conflict in the east of Ukraine uh, enhances the situation. It makes it much murkier to keep track of how uh, travel of people, movement of people. Exactly. Mm. And now the borders are open and a lot of young men who need to, to earn money for their families, they are heading towards Europe to earn, uh, to, to get a better job, better life, uh, to earn more money for their families. And uh, unfortunately, they may not know their, uh, their, their um, rights right. or their, um, the right um, ways of um, um, getting a job and they can be um, 
for, um, they can be uh, with caught into a situation. People are yeah. lured, maybe exactly. uh, with these yeah. with these uh, advertisements for some type of yes. work, uh, and and it turns out to be that maybe they're they take their passports or 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 it's just they don't receive their pay. Uh, what are some of the common things? You see? Um, the most common is that when the person is invited for a job, it can be kept uh, at some premises for some for some for some time, and then uh, having no job and no money, mm -hmm. uh, they are then forced to do some kind of job they didn't want to do before, mm -hmm. and um, uh, sometimes um, sometimes this is related to the. Um, uh, committing a, t a crime um, and recently there is a there's a, um, um, there's a trend in Ukraine when um, young male are invited uh, for jobs abroad as the couriers uh -huh. and then they are forced uh, to uh, to to, br to bring um, drugs uh -huh. through the borders and obviously they end up uh, being in prison uh, uh -huh. in such countries like Russia, uh, Greece or um, Brazil or where, Thailand. Where, and also where there's not so much uh support of people who've been trafficked and forced into these situations in a lot of countries. Yes, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we had several cases like that, and recently we had two repatriations from Brazil uh -huh. of Ukrainian citizens. Oh, wonderful that they. And what happens then when uh, these people come home? What type of support do they receive? Uh, basically, uh, the problem is in Ukraine is that most of victims of trafficking they they are not aware, aware that what trafficking is and they cannot identify themselves and they mm -hmm. don't know that um, there are organizations NGOs that can provide uh, um, help or support for them. But uh, that's why we are doing um, prevention and awareness events, all sorts of um, advertisement, so that people could be aware could um, could know that they can can get help mm -hmm. um, and as soon as they are coming back home um, if uh, if we are dealing with them um, we are providing um, the the um, a full spectrum of the of help and um, uh, starting with um, medical aid mm -hmm. um, and finishing with the um, um, Lawyers, uh, psychologists, accommodation, uh, education. The whole, the whole yeah. spectrum. And exactly. you said, uh, and I think today you had such an awareness event. Exactly. Um, so recently these days, um, A21 uh, around the globe has the... Um, Walk for Freedom event, uh -huh. uh, which is which is very popular and uh, it, it's devoted to October 18th, which is European Day of uh, Counter Trafficking, mm -hmm. and uh, the Walk for Freedom is an international uh, fourth international annual event uh, that happened this weekend in um, 600 cities around the globe, mm -hmm. in uh, 50 countries, something oh, wow. like that. Yeah. And uh, Ukraine had this event today, mm -hmm. and we had more than 200 volunteers pres present um, on Maidan Nezalezhnosti, which is the main central square of mm -hmm. Kiev. And we had a lot of um, uh, mass media and TV channels uh, presented there, and they will be talking about that through the day and raising awareness. We hope that this um, this word will be spread around the, uh, Ukraine as well as around the globe. And and um, today we were sharing some stories as well, mm -hmm. so that the volunteers and people who are participating would not be just walking mm -hmm. um, uh, during the event, but they would know who are they walking for. Yes. And um, we... Um, well, can you share one of these stories with us? Yeah, I can share three stories basically, really, really uh, quickly. Uh, well, share one of them that you can, so we can we can really understand more about at least one person who's okay. suffered from trafficking. I will just briefly uh, describe the the idea, and then I will share you the, the, with you the the story of Ivan, um, the Ukrainian man. But today we were sharing the story of Amy from USA, um, the girl who was trafficked by her own boyfriend, oh. and then there was a. Story Story of uh, Evie uh, from from Thailand. Sure. All right. Yeah. And so we have Emma. Uh huh. 
uh, then Evie from Thailand, um, who was sold into sex slaver, slavery, and in the age of three years old, she was um, she was basically keeping the the family of four people. Oh wow! So, yeah, so which she's is, having to take care of a family of four. Exactly, wow. and uh, and of course the story of Ivan uh, from Ukraine who suffered a lot from labor exploitation, oh. and this was the guy that we helped in our care. Wonderful. And um, this 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 was the normal young man who just wanted to have a better life and uh, started to look for um, for a job invitations abroad, and he found one that promised a lot of money and uh, not a hard job abroad and of course he uh, he didn't know how to verify the the proposition and mm -hmm. he just said yes to that and as soon as he got to the place um, abroad he, his passport and documents were taken away mm -hmm. and he was uh, captured um, in um, in the in the place in the farm and he was forced to to do a hard work mm -hmm. and um, basically um, nobody took care of him his health suffered a lot and as soon as he got sick uh, his health he just lost all his health probably and um, he was very very weak and um, the traffickers just simply throw him away oh, my. and uh, they they were probably um, thinking of his of his death uh, but somehow, miraculously, he managed to survive and he managed to get to the road and he stopped the car who brought him to the hospital. And uh, in the hospital, he, um, he was... Um, uh, he Treated had some and help, yeah, and yeah. this is how we got to know about him and oh, he wow. took to our care. And, um, and yeah, and now he's, he's pretty well. He's back to his family and um, uh, we provided uh, some medical treatment for him and um, some, some more um, different types of help. And he's, he's well and thinking of his future now with yes. his family. And unfortunately, this is the common story yeah. or stories like this that you talked about, uh, Yvonne, Emma, uh, Emma and Eva, that this is a common story for more than 15 million people around the world. So, exactly. Yeah. So this is, um, these three people are now free, but they are representing the stories of millions and millions of people around the globe who are still uh, trapped in trafficking, who are still in capture, in captivity. And, uh, Mm, and that's why we are doing what we are doing. That's why we were um, walking today for their freedom. Mm -hmm. And um, 